Hey guys, it's Fonzie with Dip Your Car. Now, when we moved into the new facility, we committed to you guys that we were going to increase the video content. We were gonna pump out as many videos as we could. And for the past several weeks, we've really kept up a great pace. Now that pace may actually slow down a little bit and I wanted to share with you guys why. Um, we came into work today on Monday and we, we realized that somebody thought it would be really fun on Saturday night right after midnight to bring a couple of their buddies over to our parking lot and smash all of the windows on a bunch of our video cars. So the Audi S4, the Evo, and the STI a lot of the windows on those cars got smashed. Now, did we catch these guys on security footage? Of course we did. And are we gonna share that security footage with you guys? Of course we are. So I'm gonna play it and you guys can sit back and watch and then we can talk about a couple of the highlights together. So I think the strategy here is there's one scout that goes out first, surveys the area, makes the initial attack, retreats back to the truck, and then it looks like they're getting ready to drive away, but they stop and decide to go on full assault. Now pay close attention to this guy because here's how you know that we're dealing with highly trained professionals. This guy's dual wielding which is not an easy skill to master. And just keep an eye on his technique. He's really generating a lot of power, huge wingspan. I think this guy really knows what he's doing. You gotta keep that wide stance and make sure that your body is centered and grounded to make sure you can generate the most destructive force possible. You got this little guy here who runs out last minute, takes one little pop at the window and runs back on in. Hopefully he earned a merit badge or something for that. So what we've got is a four door F-150 black grill, black wheels. Not the most difficult thing to identify. So we did file a police report. We did submit the video evidence to the police. Um, were we able to track down the tag and make sure that these guys get caught? I'll give you guys an update in the future on that one. I wanna let everything kinda finish itself and tie all those loose strings together before we announce anything. Now, they didn't steal anything. They didn't even try to unlock or open any of the doors. Their entire focus was just to smash as much glass as possible and then leave as quickly as possible. Obviously, they got done what they wanted to get done. And I guess the story here is just stuff is gonna happen. You can't control everything all the time. Um, one of the biggest things that we took away from this is obviously increasing our security. Already today, we've got a team in here massively upgrading all of our security cameras. You won't even be able to walk around in that parking lot without me seeing your eyeballs. I mean, I will know every single human that walks through that parking lot or anywhere near our building moving forward. And yes, we made a ton of extra room in our warehouse so that all those cars can be kept inside now. So. It's a learning lesson. You gotta take stuff like this as a learning lesson because if not, then you let knuckleheads like that ruin your day and that's just simply not worth it. So we're gonna get everything repaired as quickly as we can 
and we're gonna keep the videos rolling as quickly as we can. Luckily, the Mustang was inside in the booth. We're working on that right now. My RS6 was inside, thankfully, as well. So we're gonna be able to keep some content moving forward for you guys, but please be patient. Now, obviously, if anybody watching out there is able to identify these people before the police do, I have a nice cash reward for you. You can email me directly at fonzi at dipyourcar.com if you have any hard leads or hard evidence as to who may be responsible for this. And again, thank you guys always for growing with us and watching and, and being part of our tight-knit community. I really appreciate all the support and everything we get from you guys. And we'll have the cars fixed and back up and running in no time. Thanks for watching. It's Fonzie. I will see you on the next video.